What's up, my beautiful besties, our Good Vibe Tribe? Welcome in, welcome in. Y'all are freaking incredible. Thank you so very much for being here with me. Um, I've decided to switch up the format just a little bit. We're going to just do an overall vibe for, you know, whatever the energy is for the day or on the Almost Daily here. We're going to talk about the incoming energies, um, any challenges, how you might feel, what you expect, what you don't expect, any advice, and of course, some outgoing energy. Um, now, of course, this reading is timeless and I have, we'll see what comes up, right? Um, so if it resonates with you, awesome. If it doesn't, please don't force anything, okay? And uh, try to keep it positive in the comments, right? Not everybody is in the same situation. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm just sending you all my love. If there's going to be an extended, it will be linked. Anything you need to know is in the description box or pinned to the top of the comments. I don't really know until we get there. Okay. <laughs> if it, if we're going to do a part two of it or not, but anyway, let's just get into it. We're going to bring the sound bowl, call in spirit and get started. Here we go. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so very much, spirit. All right, let's get the overall vibe. What energy is around you, inside you, outside you? What do you have access to right now? Energetically, we have the path. Ooh, um, I'm really liking this. Number eight is linked to strength in the tarot. So um, for me with the path, it's like um, just being strong enough. Okay, because with the strength vibe, um, strong enough to use your will uh, to go down a path and do make choices that you know that are going to be good for you because that's the whole that's the whole vibe of the path right um and strength overall now and i, I kind of want to expand on that a little bit because making choices that we know are good for us and sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do staying on the path staying on track okay so that is kind of like the theme of today but we're going to go ahead and pull the tarot underneath the deck we do have purity okay so maybe since the eclipse energy y'all could have been feeling like uh certain things certain situations have been eclipsed out of your life which is a theme that will keep going for the next six months or so um you know and i gotta tell you with uh purity energy it's like this could be you know detoxing it could be you getting in touch with like uh your soul self your higher self your innocence okay or just simply purifying i don't know if you need to purify your air or purify your your diet or your water or something like that okay but it's purifying the mind body and spirit um so that you can continue to make these wise decisions on your path right okay so that's the uh energy that is around you that is going to be somewhat of the theme here for today I'm just going to pop the purity uh, card right here, helping you stay on track with your goals, right? Um, let's see. I'm just going to do this a little di bit differently. I'm going to shuffle the deck and I'm going to cut the deck and we'll get your card. So, um, I don't know, make yourself a cup of, <laughs> cup of tea, coffee or whatever. Um, well, I connect to the energies here. This deck is so bulky, but I love it. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's the strength. I'm not, uh, definitely not surprised to see that here. So let me just cut. Okay. Overall, at the bottom of the deck here, we do have the King of Pentacles. So you could be a uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, but really you're going to be kind of in your masculine energy. Now, it doesn't matter what gender you are. It is the highest expression of the Pentacles, which is like what you're focused on, your 
whatever you hold a lot of value. So your self-worth, your value, um, maybe it's a business, maybe it's a goal, maybe it's your money, right? Anything that we can touch, anything that's tangible, anything that's practical. So this is your focus, right? And it's a mature energy. So it's like um, an overall feeling of, you know what, I'm in charge. I'm the one that lays out the rules, okay? Um, I know exactly what I need to do to stay on track to achieve my goals, right? Um, and you know what, the incoming energy here with the six of pentacles, I just want to make sure that you guys can see. This is the first time I'm using this spread, so I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, you know, with the six of pentacles as your incoming energy here, what I see is like in the past, things would have been way out of balance for you or like you would give to a situation. And you might not have received what you needed back, whether it be time, energy, resources, okay? Um, and I feel like it's just, it's grown very tiresome. I also see a figure eight here as well, okay? So we've got a lot of eights. Have you been seeing the eights? Um, eights are actually energy, um, numerologically speaking, of like spiritual abundance, accomplishment. Um, it's it's a very good energy, the eights, okay? We have eight here, you know, with the path and also strength coming up in the reverse. Now, I don't want to throw shade with strength in the reverse for today's vibe because I do feel like part of your challenge today, which I can see with the chariot, is getting maybe that um, push to get up and go or feeling maybe a little bit stuck or or a little bit like, well, I'm not quite sure which direction I need to move in, okay? Um, sometimes that can happen. So with strength, it's like, do I have this force of will that is required? We might be questioning ourselves. Do I have what it takes, okay? Some of us with strength in reverse could be really beating ourselves up for um, allowing certain situations that were out of whack energetically to continue. And we get that a lot um, because strength is really, it is really connected and very much tied to the devil. And I say that all the time. I know you guys know. Um, and the devil, of course, represents those decisions or those patterns, those sub unconscious, I want to say, patterns in our lives, um, whether they be addictions or trauma bonds or uh, ways that we think, ways we behave, you know, certain things that are kind of on repeat for us, right? Um, and the decisions that we make uh, to continue doing those things, even though that we know they aren't good for us. So let's just say it can be something from like, you know, okay, well, I know that, you know, uh, if I start scrolling, I don't know, I heard this one. If I start scrolling, like on TikTok or shorts or whatever, it's going to suck up my energy. It's going to suck up my time. I'm going to get distracted. Um, so like, you know, we know that that's not good for us, but sometimes we get in that energy and it's hard to stop a pattern. Like say, if it's like after you're done eating or something, you're on your break at work or whatever it is, you, you tend to do the same things at the same times. Okay. Now, I don't know why I was just getting that <laughs> like doom scrolling I was hearing. Anyways, I, I feel like it is more, it's a deeper thing than just that, but it's going to be like an overall vibe and overall theme for you today where you are becoming conscious and aware of your patterns. And then there might be a little bit of, okay, well, what do I do now? Or what is my plan moving forward? I'm, I'm trying to develop a strategy so that I stay on track, so that I am on path, I'm on point, um, that I am being conscious of the decisions that I'm making, even like from the little ones to the big ones in my life, right? Now, that is the overall vibe. So I don't see that necessarily as a bad thing. Again, we could be allowing some of these like, oh, kicking ourselves kind of a, uh, thoughts to come in. Um, you know, I just got to say that no matter what situation this was, where things were highly out of whack and highly unfair for you, whether it be at work with goals, with family, friends, relationships, whatever it was where you were perhaps giving more to a situation than you were receiving. Um, we don't need to beat ourselves up for that. Okay. We don't need to do that. Because whatever, whatever got you to this point, now, now you're here, right? Let's not waste energy on saying, oh, it took me so long to figure this out. You know what? It takes the time that it takes. We're here. You're here now. Um, and you're moving forward. Today's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. And we're just going to keep pushing forward, right? We're just going to keep pushing. So that is kind of like the vibe, right? The challenge with the chariot, not that it's a bad vibe. The chariot's actually a very positive, um, energy to be around you. It's, it's more talking about 
okay, well, I might feel pulled in two different directions. I might feel like I'm having a challenge finding uh, the time or the, which some of you could be at like a fork in the road, okay? <laughs> uh, deciding what path is truly right for you. You may have more than one option ahead of you. Um, and I feel like um, the, like how you're gonna feel, okay? I feel like it is a little bit frustrating because you don't really know. It's like, I know I wanna move forward. I know what my end goal is, but I'm not exactly sure how to get there. Um, the, every day, I just want to say, as you make these decisions for yourself, step by step, day by day, you know, it's all going to add up and you will um, make a very successful progress towards your goal, your dream, whatever, wherever it is you, you want to end up. Okay. Because I do see a very strong energy here for you. Like you are in control of your life. You know what you're doing. Look at this. We even have the King and Queen of Pentacles. And y'all, I'm not going to ignore the fact that we do have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups in this reading. There could be a decision whether or not to move forward with a relationship, a romantic relationship in your life. Um, I also peep here now that I've lifted up this vibe. We have a lot of worrisome energy, a lot of fear, maybe anxiety around uh, taking a, a step perhaps in a love relationship or in a business partnership. Okay. I, I mean, it really can resonate in, in a few different ways here. Um, how you're going to feel about everything. We have the Knight of Cups here. That's how you're going to feel. This is feeling like, um, you're, you're seeing hope in a situation. Okay. So you might even feel like a little bit, okay, I have to do, I have to do a little bit of love here because with the Ace of Cups and we were just talking about that, I did see the divine counterparts here with the King and Queen of Pentacles. Um, you know, this is like, it's something that brings you a lot of joy and you're feeling very optimistic. You're feeling like you're, you're romanticizing what this is. Okay. You're romanticizing what it could be, right? There is a new beginning. There is a new opportunity, right? As you move forward in life. Now we have, we have how, uh, what you expect. Okay. You expect to move forward, but you expect also to have to, um, maybe, Maybe leave something behind, right? Maybe, you know, abandon something that you might not want to because I have a lot of forward movement here in the reading. Um, there's something that you may have to leave in the past here. Um, and I, I feel like I have to focus because it's turned from goals to kind of like a love situation, right? So um, I feel like in the beginning of the day or whenever it is that you're tuning into this, you're starting off with like, okay, I have... Um, I have somewhere to be. I want to remain on my path. I, I need to accomplish a certain goal here. I've got work to do. Okay. I've got work to do, but some of you could be interrupted by, um, an offer for like a date or a message coming in with the Knight of Cups that it could be an apology. It could be, Hey, let's go out for coffee. Hey, I'm really interested in you receiving some type of communication of someone expressing their feelings towards you. Okay. And that might, you know, uh, that might interrupt your plan, <laughs> you know, for the day, okay? That might interrupt your plan for the day, especially with the chariot here as the challenge, um, because we can interpret it in that sense too. It's like, hey, I'm on this forward momentum. I'm doing things that are right for me. I'm making good choices. I'm trying to stay on track with my goals, with my plans, with my glow up, okay? Um, because things were out of whack. I'm trying to remain in balance, right? Even though there might be a little bit of difficulty in, in in um, believing whether or not I can do this, you know, that's the kind of an energy, right? So, um, but then all of a sudden, boom, you get some kind of communication coming in or something. I don't want to say it throws you off track because I don't feel like it does, um, but it kind of interrupts your focus. I'm going to put it that way. It interrupts your focus. Now, um, how you expect, okay, so what you expect, the six of swords, you expect to be moving forward. You expect to be learning your lessons. You expect to be leaving the past in the past with the Six of Swords, okay? Sailing on to a much more um, balanced and smooth, you know, uh, challenge-free, like a, I've gotten over the worst of it kind of an energy uh, smooth sailing into the future. But what you don't expect is to kind of be blindsided here with the Two of Swords, right? Um, being blindsided with the Two of Swords or you don't want to be caught off guard. And I feel like that is kind of the energy, like, 
this message, this communication, this person that comes through kind of catches you off guard. Um, you know, uh, and so you don't really expect, you don't really know what there's a decision that you're going to have to make, right. But you don't really expect to be having to make this decision today, or it kind of comes out of left field and you're like, well, I don't want it to throw me off track. Okay. Especially if it is like, uh, uh, potential romantic partner here. Um, cause I do feel like whoever I'm reading for today, like you're really laser focused on, um, goals and moving forward and your own personal journey rather than focusing on like a romantic relationship, but it's coming in. Okay. It's coming into this reading. Um, big time. We have the seven of swords here for advice. So I find that to be very interesting. I want to clarify it because the Seven of Swords isn't always super shady. It can be like, um, it can be like whole, like not really communicating, um, not letting people know what it is that you're thinking or feeling, uh, doing what you have to do to get yourself through a situation, out of a situation. Um, it's not always like the worst, okay? Because what I have here with advice, it's like maybe keep things to yourself, keep your thoughts to yourself until you figure out exactly what you want to do with this energy, okay? So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, see, keep your thoughts to yourself or, you know, really take some time to figure out what it is that you truly want, what it is that is going to bring you joy, happiness, abundance. Okay. Um, because we have the outgoing energy being the ace of cups and it's like, um, you have this, like, even though <laughs> it, it feels like a battle of the mind and the heart today, honestly, because it's like your mind wants to keep you on track. It wants to remind you of situations where, Maybe things were um, out of balance. Things were unfair. Um, maybe there was a situation when you do you did feel cheated, right? I mean, it's going to uh, resonate differently for different folks here. Okay, so like I said, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, and you may not want to deal. You may not want to deal with this like logically um, again because you're focused on your goal, your <laughs> wherever you want to be, your path, right? Your spiritual path, your journey, your career path, whatever it is. Um, but at the end of the day, you still have these like overwhelming feelings of love and joy, and you know, like. <laughs> Um, you have really good feelings. You have really good, like, um, there's an opportunity here for something new to begin in love. And by the end of the day, I do feel like you're going to allow yourself to get into those feelings. Okay. I feel like it's just going to be a little bit overwhelming, but almost like in a good way, I don't feel like that it's a negative thing. Okay. Now I have to clarify and I am going to, um, apply this to a love situation right now specifically because uh there are different messages coming through especially with seeing the king and queen of pentacles right now there is a little bit of worry and underneath that i do see a message coming through right we do see the page of wands and i also see here the three of cups so there's going to be a message that comes through to you from a potential partner or maybe somebody that you already know, or it could be somebody new with the Ace of Cups. It's either a renewal or someone completely new for you. Um, but the, whoever this person is, is your match, okay? Um, they are someone who resonates on the same vibration as you. They are somebody who, um, you know, like they're just, y'all are equally yoked, okay? But there is a fear, there is a worry that perhaps maybe you're not, or perhaps, you know, there's like a concern over if this is someone you dealt with in the past. Well, maybe in the past, you know, you gave more to the situation at, and didn't receive what you, what you deserved, that kind of an energy. Um, and you're trying to make good decisions. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to learn these lessons. You're trying not to repeat any patterns. Okay. Um, and you're trying to block it out. Some of you, okay. You might be trying to block it out because there is a fear that a pattern will repeat, right? Uh, with this person, whether it's a new person or, um, someone returning from your past, right? Either way, it still applies because you, you are here thinking big picture and you're thinking, I'm not repeating patterns. Okay. I'm not repeating patterns and that's, you know, how you feel. But at the end of the day, the message that comes through an apology that comes through here, um, you know, it's going to make you feel good. It's going to bring good feelings into you. You're going to be happy to receive this communication. That's what I mean. There's like a little bit of a, 
you know, you don't want it to interrupt your day. It's a little bit of a battle between the head and the heart today with the energy around you. Okay, so I am going to clarify the seven of swords for your advice because um, you don't expect, <laughs> I, I kind of like it was like what you expect is to be moving forward, moving on. And there is this little bit of a disruption that comes through. Um and it's like, you know, like, I don't even, I don't even want to deal with this today. There is that, you don't really expect to feel that way. You don't really expect to um, not want to look at it or not want to deal because like I said, you start your day with such a laser focus on a bigger goal or something that's like, you know, it's not your love. It's not your love life. <laughs> okay. It's definitely not your love life. Okay. It's your path overall, but there could be a connection between this person and your path because of the, uh, divine counterparts that we have here with the king and queen of pentacles, right? So there's worry and there's fear. So let me stop talking for a second and focus on clarifying the seven of swords for your advice. Why is the seven of swords? Okay. <laughs> 10 of cups. Yeah. I feel like your advice is to keep <laughs> all these feelings that bubble up within you. Because like I said, you're not expecting to hear from this person. You're not expecting, um, but it, you can't help but feel the feelings that are coming up within you. And I'm going to be honest with you, even though you're trying to like block it out, you still have a hope for renewal with this individual or a hope that, or you view this person as being somebody that perhaps you want to have your eye on or somebody you maybe had a crush on or something like that. I don't know. Um, you may have looked at this person or you see a future with this person, right? Whether that is now or it was from the past, right? Um, so that your, your advice is to keep those feelings to yourself for the day, even though, yeah, look at that. You're, it's going to get you in your feelings. Queen of cups. You still have a lot of love for this person, or you do have a lot of love for this person. Um, you know, I don't feel like there is somebody that you just meet, like wherever, like off the streets or something. You already know this person. Okay. You already know who they are. So, um, and it is somebody that you have very deep feelings to, uh, for, and you have, you feel a very deep connection to this individual. Okay. So, um, <laughs> we have the seven of swords coming up again. You know, your advice for the day is, you know, even though there is a new opportunity and you're going to feel the energy of renewal and something fresh and something new, um, again, you're very conscious of patterns in the relationship um, and in your love life in general. And so what you're going to do is kind of keep quiet and watch how things unfold, which is so hilarious. I peeped the bottom of the deck while I was saying that and the hangman was there. And that's exactly what the hangman is all about. It's all about keeping quiet not making any moves, seeing what comes into you, um, just kind of being in this surrender, go with the flow mode, but also the observer, being the observer, allowing things to unfold and allowing, you know, just to see how it's going to go. Okay. Because right now you're attracting energy. Um, you're not really out there. It's interesting. I was going to say, you're not really chasing anything, but, but a dream. Okay. So you weren't focusing on love and boom, like a love themed situation comes into you today. Right. Okay. So, um, I am going to actually extend this reading because for some of you, it is a divinely guided soulmate. It is a counterpart and it is someone that you have previously dealt with, but it does look with the king and queen of pentacles. Like there is like, these are two mature individuals. These are two people who are sitting in their power. Um, they're very powerful people. Um, they know what they want. They know what they're worth. Okay. And I, I do see that they're looking at each other. All right. And one is very relaxed. I mean, they're both really relaxed and happy with their life and what's going on. Um, but they're still kind of looking at each other, thinking, thinking about each other. Okay. <laughs> I kind of, uh, it's, it's interesting. There's, yeah. I mean, it does feel like a celebration and it does feel like the, the communication. It's like, it's welcome, but it's, it's not it's it's interesting because it's like I feel like you're trying to push forward I just I just feel like you're super laser focused like I said on moving things forward in your life and you weren't really expecting this communication to come in today so you're like oh I just I just don't know <laughs> there's a little bit of anxiety that pops up but it's not necessarily like I said 
a bad feeling because the Ace of Cups, that is the sense of um, joy bubbling up within ourselves, right? It's your cup runneth over. Like you are going to feel happy, okay, um, for this communication. But your advice, of course, like I said already, is to kind of uh, keep those feelings to yourself, keep any excitement to yourself and just see uh, what is coming in. And I suppose that's what we'll do. I'm going to go ahead and get some Oracle messages here for you to close out the reading. But in the extended, what we'll look at here is, okay, what's coming in? Um, who, what is this person all about? What is their intention? What do they want? Uh, what do they think? What do they feel? What do they like about you? Um, have, are, if they, if this is somebody that you've dealt with before, which I feel like it is, you know, has there been any changes? Like, we're just going to dive into it. What do they have to say? Uh, what would happen if you were to allow this person into your world? Okay. Would they help or hinder your journey? Those are the kinds of things that we are going to look at. Um, for everyone else who is here or not here for love, we just have this self love energy that I want to, um, um, you know, share with you. And it has, it's called create, which is giving Empress energy though. This looks like that, you know, that pregnant, um, earth, like the Gaia, right? The statue. It's pretty popular around. Anyways, um, everyone has the ability to create a life of joy. It is our birthright to manifest our desires, our hopes, and our dreams. So I do feel like this communication coming in is like a hope or a dream, or at least it once was, okay? At least it once was. But other than that, as far as like, you know, um, if it, you know, whatever, if it's not like you're not going to welcome in any, you know, love and you're going to remain focused, it's up to you what you do with the energy and with your dates, choose your own adventure, folks, um, no matter what you are in the energy of creating something beautiful and following your bliss, following your joy. Okay. No matter what, by the end of the day, that's what you're going to do, whatever that is. And there isn't anyone else who can tell you, you know, what gives you this feeling, right? Is it being on your own right now? Or is it, is, is it like, are you happy to hear from this person? Right. Okay. Um, so there's that. I'm going to also go ahead and get, um, I'm going to go ahead and get an uh, affirmation here for you for the day to work with. If you feel like it, you can always write it in the comments or, you know, um, <laughs> how else are you going to remember it? Take a screenshot or something if you feel like it, but it's hard to read these cards. But anyways, um, and then I'll get a love Oracle and we'll move on to the extended. Like I said, the links will be down below. Everything I touch is a success. See, that's, that is super powerful. It's super easy to remember. And so you're kind of in this energy. Everything I touch is a success, no matter what, right? And it's good to remind ourselves of that because, again, I do see some, a uh, little bit of fear or a little bit of anxiety creeping in about what's happening today, okay? So I now establish a new awareness of success. I know I can be as successful as I make up my mind to be. I move into the winning circle. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. I love that. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me, okay? And no matter what, that is still your focus, okay? So even if you get a little bit of distraction from this love interruption that comes through to you, you're still focused on, you know, you're still at the end of the day, you're still focused on your path, on your goals, right? Okay, um, I am going to go ahead and get a love oracle um, here and then we will head off to the extended. I'll drop a preview for y'all. So don't go anywhere if you want to see what's coming down the line. I usually start with the energy. Um, but here we have your love oracle. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, so this is, you know, this person does feel a very deep bond to you. Okay. Um, and that's, that's the vibe, right? They feel a very deep bond to you and you feel, you do feel the same way. Okay. But you're not going to speak on it. You're not going to say anything. You're going to allow things to unfold and to see what comes next. Um, if you're super curious like me, super nosy and want to know, <laughs> I will see you in the extended. Otherwise I will be back with another reading for you as soon as possible. I'm currently working on, um, personal readings for our good vibe tribe members. Um, those of you who want 
to get into it there. You do get a uh, discount on the extended readings always. Um, and it is like a $5 uh, per month to join. It's a commitment, $5 a month support. Um, but you also get a discounted uh, personal reading and those are open right now. Okay. So uh, for members only at the moment, but anyways, uh, they will be opening up to everyone here on YouTube um, in a week or two. It depends on um, how quickly I can get through our members. Okay. So I'm sending you lots of love and I hope to read for you again. Take care. Hey besties, welcome to the extended. Thank you so very much for the energy exchange. I truly appreciate it. It means the world to me. We are going to go ahead and start. We're going to get the overall energy of that person who's coming towards you, that person who's coming in, perhaps with an apology or at least the very least an expression of emotion. Okay. We have attachment all right, the attachment energy. Okay, it looks to me like in the past, this person has had attachment issues, or maybe um, you have been, maybe you felt like at one point, this person may have been like a trauma bond or something like that. Or maybe this person had codependency issues. I got to be real with you, right? We have contract. It is a soul contract. It is a soulmate of some sort here. Um, and they are in this energy, okay, of knowing that there is a deep, deep uh, connection here they feel for you and what is this man holding a heart okay so again regardless of gender uh person holding a heart so they are going to be expressing their feelings to you we also have door to value opening up here as well now this could be a financial change in their situation or they are just feeling a lot better again it's giving that king of pentacles queen of pentacles energy the door to value everybody here in the situation knows their value knows their worth okay um i do see though that the past energy with this person um was not the best so i can understand how we would have received the six of pentacles for that unequal give and take, especially if there were issues of codependency or attachment style um, issues. Okay. Um, I, I don't know why I'm getting like a fearful avoidant type of an energy here. Um, but it does give maybe this person wasn't honest with their feelings or, you know, something wasn't right. Something wasn't fair. Um, and it was very challenging being number five. I love that contract is number six. Okay, because um, that does kind of go with what we were getting in the reading and number six is connected to the lovers as well. So it is a decision that you're going to have to make about whether or not you decide uh, to open up, share or even get into um, get into it again with some, this person. Okay, um, I am feeling like this is a repetitive thing or it has this somebody that you've dealt with already in the past. Okay, so man holding a heart, person holding a heart. Um it's number 45 that breaks down to a nine, which is potential of, you know, it's abundant energy, it's completion, uh, it's growth. Okay. So there has been some type of shift in the energy with this person. And I can just see that going from um, being perhaps fearful of attachments, fearful of commitments to being open and honestly expressing feelings. Okay. So there's been some type of shift and change here. Now I want to go ahead and just dive right into it. And I'm going to get um, what they're thinking, how they're feeling. You know what, like, look at, <laughs> as I split the deck, we have the six of wands and the moon. Okay. So there has been some um, shadow work when I see the moon. And of course, we've, we're coming off of this eclipse energy. There may have been some huge realizations. There may have been some huge shifts, huge changes in this person's energy. Um, they also have uh, seeing some things very clearly about themselves, their own reflection, how they show up, attachment wounds, styles, and things of that nature. With the Six of Wands here, this lets me know that they've overcome or they have completed successfully a journey into their own subconscious, okay? Um, so they have been in their feelings. They have been thinking about things. They have been processing and seeing their shadow, okay? So um, let's get into their, to, to their thoughts. What are they thinking? Thinking about you specifically okay here we go what are they thinking about you what do they think about this relationship what are they thinking as they come towards you in this energy 